Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to talk about the Leishmania. It is a protozoal parasite and it presents the wide spectrum of the disease's severity. It may cause single ulcer that may heal without any treatment. It may also cause a very severe infection, infecting reticuloendothelial organs. So all about this introduction, introduction, general characteristics, classification, clinical diseases, diagnosis and treatment, prevention and control we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. Its introduction, the name Leishmania named after Sir William Leishman who discovered visceral Leishmania causing black fever in 1903. Actually, he took the spleen smear of a soldier in 1900 who died of this disease. But this disease was discovered in 1903. And in the same year, Charles Donovan from the India, Calcutta, Madran, but now the Madran is known as the Chiniai, also reported the same parasite from his spleen smear. So the name Leishmania Donovani was therefore given to this visceral Leishmania parasite. It is a zoonotic disease, means it is caused by the rodents, dogs, and foxes, and is transmitted to the humans by the bite of the sand flies. And this disease mostly affects the low social economic people, means those people which are low in their social economy. Now, its general characteristics all the genus of Leishmania are obligate. They are just living inside the host cell. They need a host cell to survive. They are intracellular, means they are living inside the cell, else, they are living inside the macrophages. They complete their life cycle in two hosts. One is definitive host and their definitive host are the humans or any mammals. Their intermediate host are the sand flies. The genus of sand flies is in the old world and Neurosomia in the new world. So the old world basically refers to the world before the world it came into the contact with the Americans. On the other hand, the new world refers to the Americans. When the world contact with the Americans, it is a new world. So in the new world, the new genus of the sand fly was discovered, Neurosomia causing this type of infection. And human they occur as MST goat form. MST goat form is non-flagellate, they are non-motile, while sand flies they occur as promest goat form, they have the flagella, they are motile. Leishmania occur in three forms: visceral leishmania, cutaneous leishmania, microcutaneous leishmania means these are the sites on which the leishmania parasites are found or they are they they cause infections now the taxonomic classification of leishmania as we know there are five kingdoms so kingdom protoctista or protista contain uh, leishmania donovani means leishmania donovani belong to the kingdom protoctista their phylum is protozoa animal like protoctista their subphylum is sarcomastigophora their phylum is mastigophora class 2 mastigophora their order is Kynidoplastida, suborder is Trepnosomatina, genus is Leishmania, Trepnosoma also belong to this, uh, this suborder, and species Leishmania donovani, Leishmania phantom, Leishmania ethopica, Leishmania tropica, Leishmania major, these all are the species of this parasite. Now we have the clinical diseases. As you can see over here, this is a genus Leishmania and these are the species of the Leishmania causing the diseases on the causing the infection on the body. So these are the sites on which they cause an infection on the human body or any other mammal body. So visceral Leishmania caused by the Leishmania donovani, Leishmania infantum. Leishmania donovani, Leishmania infantum caused the visceral Leishmaniasis in the old world and Leishmania tropica, Leishmania ethiopica, Leishmania major causing the cutaneous Leishmaniasis. While in the new world, the Leishmania chagasi, new species of the Leishmania was discovered causing the visceral Leishmaniasis. Leishmania mexicana, Leishmania brazilianis causing the cutaneous Leishmaniasis or microcutaneous Leishmaniasis. Now we have the morphology of visceral leishmaniasis. On the other hand, you can see here you can see it is the MST goat form of the visceral leishmania and it is the pro goat form of the visceral leishmania. You can see over here is flagella. So MST goat form. The MST goat form are also called the LD bodies, means leishman donor one bodies is an ovoid or rounded cell. 
It is about 2 to 4 micrometer in size and it is intracellular, means it is living inside the macrophages, monocytes, neutrophils, or endothelial cells. They are also known as the antibodies, I have already told you. And their smear stain with Lechman, Gemsa, or right stain show a pale blue cytoplasm. Means if we stain them, their cytoplasm will be pale blue and their nucleus will be stained red and their kinetoplast is stained with red and the purple. Uh, in a well-stained preparation, their kinetoplasts can be seen of a, consisting of a parabasal body and a dot-like blepharoplast and the exoneme arising from the blepharoplast extend to the anterior tip of the cell. You can see over here exoneme, vacuole, blepharoplast and parabasal body and on the bottom you can see the nucleus of it. And we have a promestigode form of this visceral leishmaniasis. You can see over here the nucleus is in the center and pro promestigode form of the visceral leishmaniasis is a flagellar stage and is present in insect vector sandfly. Its length is about 50 to 25 micrometer and width is about 1.5 to 3.5 micrometer and they contain nucleus at the center the flagellum is single mayor 50 to 28 micrometer it is about the morphology of the visceral leishmaniasis now the life cycle of the visceral leishmaniasis how it infects in the human body so basically you can see over here human and the cell fly is biting a human body so when cell fly, infected cell fly bite a human body, healthy human body, so men acquires infection by bite of the female cell fly. And then it transfers a promestigode form of the visceral leishmania, promestigode form of the leishmania donovani. But they, in the human body, they convert it into a mystigode form of leishmania donovani and then promestigode deposited in the punctured wound. You can see over here they take a macrophages and then in macrophages they multiply from ST code transform into MST code. MST code multiply by binary fission, distending macrophages, and then macrophages rupture, releasing MST code forms. You can see over here the MST code forms are released and they are present in the peripheral blood. So when a new cell fly attack on the human body, inject its proboscis and and take its blood meal and uh, so these MST gold form of the Leishmania donovani also enter into its body and then MST gold become pro gold which multiply binary fission and pro gold accumulate in the pharynx and block it and again they are ready to infect any other human body so this is the life cycle of Leishmania donovani now the visceral Leishmaniasis is the most several type of the Leishmaniasis known as the Kala Zero Dum Dum Fever. It causes the internal organs, means uh, organs of the reticular endothelial organs. And its incubation period is about three to six months. It may longer to one year. And their symptoms are fever, aspirinomegaly, means enlargement of the spleen, and hypergamma globulemia. It is the condition which is characterized by the increased amount of the some type of the immunoglobin or antigen in the blood serum. Progressive anemia it is a deficiency of the vitamin B12 and leukopenia is a deficiency of the WBCs. Here you can see the conditions. Number one, you can see fever, splenomegaly, and you can see over here progressive anemia, how it occurs, and leukopenia, the deficiency of the WBCs. Cutaneous leishmaniasis, it affects on the skin. You can see how it affects on the skin, how it causes the infection and it is incubation period is from the weeks to the months. It is not as severe as the visceral leishmaniasis. Mucocutaneous leishmaniasis affect skin mucosa. Skin changes similar to the oriental sauce. And the annual number of new cases estimated 1.5 to 2 million uh, cases of such that all the species of the leishmania reported to World Health Organization in 2000 while from it to 0 0.5 million were causing visceral leishmaniasis and 1 to 1.5 million were causing the cutaneous and subcutaneous mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. These were reported to the World Health Organization in 2000. Now their prevention and control. So basically the control of the vector, control of the cell fly is very necessary to control such type of the infections in environment. 
and number second treatment of the infected person if someone is infected from it so their treatment is very essential thing and number third is safe environment we have to save our environment from such type of the insects to live in our environment now the treatment is there are various type of the drugs are used to treat such type of the infections you can see uh, amphotericin pentamidine or amphotericin b sodium stabo gluconate and melphosine these are the drugs which are used against the type of the infections so this is all about the leishmaniasis hope you